All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the sub request functionality from a player's perspective. Uh, in the first video, I talked about the different settings which affect sub requests. So as a player, I log in and a couple things to note. First off, a regular player must have an email address in the system for sub request functionality to work. And of course, the subs also need email addresses because they're going to be emailed the request when the player sends it out. So with those two things being true, as a player, I would log in and click on request sub. Now to be able to request a sub, the schedule must be uh, created and I must be on the schedule for the round in question. So I'm gonna tap on request a sub. And this kind of goes over how it works. I'm gonna choose the date, I'm gonna choose the player I'll select the subs from the sub list, and then I'll be sent an email because I have email verification turned on or sub request verification turned on. I'll click on the link in the email that I receive. And then finally, the request is sent to the subs. So let's say I'm gonna be gone July 15th. So I'll pick that date. And then the player who's gonna be missing, me, and now you'll notice only those players with email addresses are in this list. Also, if you already have a sub request out there that has a reservation, you won't show up here either because you don't want to send a second sub request out. So I'll choose my name and it automatically displays all subs in the system who have an email address and who have uh, are opted into the sub request system. You can turn off the sub request for a specific player in their player profile and the player themselves can click on a link in the sub request if they want to be removed from all future sub requests. Um, this doesn't mean they can't sub but they won't get the request. So this shows all the players I want to contact. If there's only a couple players you want to send to you can go and uncheck these. Typically you're going to send it to all players and all you're going to do is click on send sub request. So this tells me that my sub request was created and the player that requested the sub has been emailed and I must click on the link in the email. The reason that's done is because I have sub request verification turned on in my league settings. And you'll notice this sub, I made a request uh, for 7.15 it shows the tea time in the group and the course. And right now the status is unverified. So no subs at this point have been contacted. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull up my email program and look at the email that I received. Okay, I am in my email program and I received the email as the player making the request, which is test one. Um, I was also copied on the email because I'm league administrator for the league. So you'll notice this has the summary of the request. If I made this request by accident, maybe I chose the wrong date, for example, I can delete the request by clicking the delete request link. Rather, I'm going to verify the request by clicking right here, click to verify your request. So after I click on the link, it is going to launch Golf League Tracker in your web browser. And now my sub request has been verified and the subs emailed. And I can see that now that the status has been sent and I can click on the action. I can view the sub list, shows me who it emailed, what time it emailed. And if I wanted, I could resend the sub email list uh, if there was an issue, someone didn't get the email, something like that. Now that subs have been emailed, I'm going to pretend I'm one of those subs and I've received an email and I'm going to go into my e inbox and I see there's a Golf League Tracker sub request. It's got the date and the league name and I'm going to click on that to view it. And it says, hey, I have a sub request. Sub fees are $15. Um, it's addressed to me. Here's the info for the um, round and I can click here to accept the reservation or if I don't ever want reservations again, if I don't want emails, I can click here and I'll be taken off the sub request list. So I'm gonna click here to accept the reservation 
And now it says, hey, the sub request below is open and I can reserve it. Again, it gives me a summary of the sub request. And all I have to do is click on reserve tea time and it will reserve the spot. So now you'll notice there's no more open sub requests and the sub has reserved the spot for round three on 715 at 518 at Blackheath, and um, we're done. Now, one more thing happens after you accept the sub request, and that is you and the league administrators are emailed that you've accepted the sub request. Also, the original player is emailed. And so if I go back to my inbox as the sub, I have a new email and it says, hey, request confirmation. I've confirmed the following sub request. And if I ever need to cancel it, I can click on this link to cancel the reservation. If I cancel it, it will then go back and resend emails to the other subs to tell them that the spot is open again.